Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B Laboratory. I have already read and checked your output on the activity, the common laboratory apparatus. Let us try to recall some of these very common laboratory apparatus. We have the test tube, the test tube rack, the test tube holder, the test tube brush. We know that the test tube is an apparatus used to contain chemical reagents for a chemical reaction. Then we'll go to the flasks. We have the Erlenmeyer flask, the Florence flask, and the volumetric flask. Of these three kinds of flasks, it is the volumetric flask which is used to measure an accurate volume of liquid. We have also the beaker, the graduated cylinder, which is used to determine the volume of liquids, the Bunsen burner, which is used for heating purposes, the evaporating dish, used to contain substances to be evaporated off, the watch glass, in which it is used to contain substances to be observed. We have also the crucible tong, which is used to hold the crucible. We have the wire gauze, which supports a container when heating. We have also the water bath, which is usually applicable when gentle heating is needed. We have also the steering rod, which is used for steering purposes. We have the funnel, which aids you when filtration operation is done so that you will not be spilling off liquids when you're going to filter a mixture. We have also the separatory funnel, which is used to separate two or more invisible liquids. We have also the iron stand, which is used to support the iron ring and the iron clamp. We have the pipette, the medicine dropper, we have the burette, these are apparatus used to measure small volume of liquids. The burette particularly is used for titration purposes. We have also the balance, such as the triple beam balance, which is used to determine the mass of a substance. So those are the common laboratory apparatus that you have drawn and as I look at your output, I appreciate much because you made efforts. There were those who colored their drawing and made it very nicely. For the next activity that is on Bunsen Borner, which I demonstrated last time, I want you to submit that today. And I would like to remind you that on Friday, we're going to have a quiz about the common laboratory apparatus and the Bunsen burner. What is important to take note about the Bunsen burner is the parts of the Bunsen burner. I want you to draw each part and give the functions and also the common operations using the Bunsen burner. Please take note because I will include that in the quiz on Friday. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz, here at Holy Name University.